Hi, I'm here now, this is Sean Bissayon. I'm here with the um, another piece of furniture that we commonly come across in our customers' environments. And this would be a typical com conference room chair or chair that you might find in a uh, reception lobby at a dentist office, orthodontics office, your family to chiropractor or doctor. And really typical, durable, easy to clean fabric that if you have a production tool that allows you to move through that fabric quickly, can make you a ton of money. Very forgiving fabric to clean. Um, from a, how it's made and constructed as well <clears throat> as the style of uh, foam that's underneath there is going to release really well and breathe through that fabric. Our choice of tools to use for this would be the Drymaster 3. It allows us easy access over top of the fabric uh, without that stretching of your wrist all the time with the flexing you're going to have to do leading to a lot of guys carpal tunnel concerns. This tool allows you to set your, your flow of your water. Once you set your water flow, turn the head on and set it for optimum use, you're able to move through that cleaning system really fast. Today's choice for cleaning solutions, my op, op, you know, my absolute favorite for this, uh, this choice fabric would be Fabric, fabric Master HD. Fabric Master HD is going to break down those fatty acids, saliva, body oils, and things that tends to get onto these fabrics, um, give you an easy release. Apply the product carefully over the entire surface of the fabric. After you put it on, work it in with a light bonnet mitt or a uh, towel, and then extract and rinse it off using your favorite rinsing solution through your cleaning machine. Our choice today is clear water rinse. We've got clear water rinse that we're gonna run into the extractor so that we're flushing through the fabric, leaving it back onto the acidic side so you don't have any skin irritation and leaving that fabric smelling fresh clean and ready for use again. Take a quick example of the cleaning on this and some of the techniques that we would use for our dry master tool. First thing that we're going to do before we can overall clean the fabric is give it a quick vacuum. So if we can have the vacuum on there real quick, we're going to run a quick vacuum over and get some of that hair and loose dander off from it first. Get down into those nooks and crannies. Once we've got that initial vacuuming work done, then we can go ahead and apply our pre-treat. We're going to apply our pre-treat from the outside of the fabric, working our way towards the inside so we don't get overspray. We have a little heavier soil there, maybe a little bit of body oil or a little bit of grime that came in from some foods, potato chips. Those are the way those kids come in from those doctor's offices. We'll apply this carefully to the surface of what we're cleaning. I do like to work up on a table when we're cleaning. It keeps that chair up and above, so you're gonna have to lean over the whole piece while you're working. Once your fabric's treated, you can work that in with a towel and or a brush. Those heavier soiled areas where you might have a little bit more of a gunk on there, it might take a little bit additional cleaning product. Break that down. This stuff smells great. All right, we're gonna go ahead and now that we've given it some agitation, go ahead and rinse off that seat. First thing to do, turn your tool on, check your water flow so it's just flowing through, but without using all of that water that can come through. You just wanna set it to just bleed through that side and then once it hits the fabric, it's not gonna overwet at all. A lot of the other tools on the market can come out of adjustment and then over wet and even spray through into the fabric while you're working on the fabric. This tool will not do that. You can set it and forget it. Turn your water off. And then if you had any excess moisture that may have been left on the surface of the fabric, go back over that and give it a nice dry pass. Finish that off with a toweling to wipe off that last little bit. Might, nope, came up clean. Any excess areas. One thing that a lot of guys forget that has nothing to do with the tools, but a little bit of pizzazz, take that time to work down into those angles that you might not have been able to get to. Pull that towel through and you'll get some of those gunky spots that other guys miss. Clean, polish the wood when you finish the piece off. Deliver it back to the waiting room. And in about two minutes on an average chair of this style, you've earned yourself about 30 bucks.
of the difficult areas to clean for a lot of upholstery cleaners are these top arms of the upholstery you're working on, and that tends to be because you misuse the tool. If you ran that tool over top of this fabric and you don't cuff that edge with a gloved hand as you're working across it, it won't maintain vacuum efficiency, and so you'll end up not maintaining the surface clean that you were intending to. So a good glove on top of your hand, the surface help you on those edges and those tighter areas will make this tool perform even better than you would have thought.